Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video we're going to have a look at how we can add a triangle in Final Cut Pro using a free plugin. I'll leave the link below so you can download it. So you can see here we've got a triangle with an image in it. Uh, we can have an image in there or color, and we can also add this outline to it and do things like changing the scale and doing some blending with it as well. So we'll delete this particular triangle from the timeline, and where we're going to find this once we've installed this is up in our titles and generators up at the top left here. We're going to go into the generators and we're going to go into Ben's generators and you can see this little triangle generator that we're going to add to the timeline. So we'll drag this down and basically we've got a few different controls here. So the first is when we come up to our inspector at the top right, if you don't see the inspector just go to window, show in workspace and make sure the inspector is checked. And then we can come up to our titles and generators options here and we can do things like changing the color. So we can change the fill color for our triangle here. We can change the outline color. And then we can also do some other things like changing the triangle scale, the outline width. And also if we open up the scale here, we can change the scale of the X and Y to kind of distort that triangle as well. So we'll reset these values here and we're gonna have a look at how we place an image within the triangle. So we've got a drop zone here to add an image in. We'll just come back to our library up here at the top left and select our triangle on the timeline again. And basically if we click in here, we're gonna be able to choose an image. So we'll choose this eye to start with and we'll apply this to the clip. Nothing will happen in the first instance and that's just because we need to turn up the opacity of that image in here. And you'll see your image pop in there. We can change the scale. We can rotate that image within the triangle and then we can also reposition it as well. So we'll just scale this down a little bit more. And you can see we've got some nice control there over how we position, rotate, and kind of get this working in there nicely. We can also reset our parameters here as well. So let's get this eye centered here. And you can see we can also change the image opacity so we can blend that image with what's behind. If we add another image to the timeline, you can see this will layer up quite nicely as well. So we're gonna have, let's just set this image in the background to fill and we'll drop the opacity of it. Just so it's a bit darker in the background there. So we can see our triangle here. We can change the opacity of the outline too. And then also the triangle fill opacity. So we can actually kind of blend that with the image in the background too. So we've got a lot of control over moving the image around um, within our triangle. If we wanna actually rotate or move the triangle itself, then we're gonna to go to the transform controls here and we can move that around. We can use the rotate option to rotate that triangle. Obviously all these options are keyframeable as well. So let's add one more triangle to our timeline here. So we'll come up and add another triangle just to recap on what we're doing here. We'll move this one to the side. So basically, grab our triangle, we'll turn off our transform controls, and then we're gonna drop an image in here right away. We'll come back to our, to our library, and then we're gonna select this coffee cup. We'll apply that and drop that in there, turn up the opacity of our image, scale it down, and then you can see we can reposition that so it fits in there nicely. Get that nice and centered. And then we'll change the outline of this to yellow. We'll decrease the width a little bit, come back to our other triangle and decrease the width of our outline there as well. Grab the motion controls and then we can move this clip across the left here. We'll rotate it a little bit. So you can see we can start to create these nice triangles within our edits in Final Cut Pro using this free to download plugin. If you have any questions about how to use the plugin, spot anything that needs refining within it, then do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.